G'day ladies and gentlemen, Dave Austin here. Welcome to the channel. Now, if you want to come fishing with Uncle Dave, let's go. Cue the intro. Okay, looks like we got our first squid on. We're recording on this one, yep. Very, very bouncy out here this morning. The purple and pink's been firing up lately. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to pick this one up. I don't wanna get inked again. Check that out, look at him trying to bite me. Look at his beak. Look at that beak and look at him trying to bite me, look. All right, in the... Well, he's gonna, this one's gonna be our bait for the day. So, we'll let him squirt his stuff out. And he'll go straight in a Ziploc bag. And that's our bait for the day. So we've got some frozen squid wings there. And this is our bait for the day. So, we're gonna use him for strips if we need him. And he's going straight on ice. And everything else is gonna go straight in the live well. So the video has started off well. Dave Austin fishing. We've been getting heaps of squid on, on my guides. So, very, very happy. Everything's working out fine. I had a big break during that whole big world shutdown thing. We don't want to mention that name because once you mention it, YouTube stuffs up your algorithm. Okay, so appreciate all the support, guys. Let's get on with this video. Boom. And we've got another one for the live well. Off to a good start, guys. Oh, they love being caught on the candles today. Oh, we might have another. That's no, just bottom. Oh, these little ones you have to watch. He tried to get me. He got ink on me, I'm not happy. He got ink. Where's that cloth? There we go. That's okay, we got him. Live wall's looking pretty good. Boom. Okay, two drifts for two squid. We're still in the same area. Just gonna put the kingfish rig down there and some seagulls sitting on the water just over there. Let's see if we can see that. Very bouncy out here. See those seagulls just over there? Just through the canopy. Okay, so they're sitting on a school of bait. So we will drop this rig straight down towards them. See, we can see the fish starting to work, or the bait ball, they're starting to work on the surface. So let's just get this up off the bottom a bit. Tighten that drag nice and tight. So let's drop him down here. I think that'll give us a better view. Yeah, that's a better shot. Look at that. Look at that sunrise. How awesome is Sydney, guys? Check him out. All right. I want to try to get our bait in there. Oh, something just had a crack. I think, I think that's them. Here we go. We just got baited. Nah, that's them, they're there. They're all around us. We're in amongst the school, guys. Oh, something's had a crack at him. Wow, check that out. So you can see, look around there, we've got bait out the back, yellow tail all on the surface. So what we'll do is, we'll drift away a little bit, but they're still all sounding up. Check this out. Okay, 
They're really, really thick, guys. So I might need to trawl through them. They're just playing around the surface. Every now and then something goes through and has a crack. So let's try trolling through them. See how we go. Okay, let's troll through this bait school now. We're gonna go right over the top of them nice and easy. And hopefully that rod's gonna buckle over up there. Okay, so in a sec, you'll see what we're working towards. Have a look at all these yellowtail. They're all just playing on the surface. They're all around us. Hopefully that rod's gonna buckle any sec. There we go. Okay. He's a, he feels like a good fish, guys. We'll give him nothing. Oh, he just spat it right there. Wow. Okay, he put the... Okay, time to go through again. He spat that, that was no good. Okay, let's try drift through him now. We'll try to get on him again. Check out the sound, oh wow. Okay. Okay, we'll uh, we'll slowly just turn the motor off on top of them. We don't want that bait to sink too far to the bottom. I think they're hitting it now. Here they come. Here they go. All right, we're on again. Doesn't feel that big this one. Well, not yet anyway. Just a schoolie, this one. I don't care if he shakes himself off, but let's see if we can get him up. In the boat he comes. We'll get a measure on him, and that's basically how you chase kingies. You're gonna lose a couple, you're gonna get a couple, because they're a really good fighting fish. Anyway. Righto guys, this guy's come in at 61, so we're gonna let him go. Let's get the camera on him. You! So you get the kingies. Mate, it's just alive, have a look at it. You can just hear them. The only thing that ruins the serenity is the planes. Yeah, we've, yeah something's worked them. Righto guys, that's a wrap. It's not always gonna be 10 or 15 fish or five fish. Sometimes it's gonna be a slow day. It was just a quick one today. Thought I'd get it out there. I've been having a lot of fun with these kingfish and showing people on my guides how, they, how to go about it. They're not very hard. There's a lot of rats amongst them, but you know, sometimes you have to go through them to get the odd big one, okay? And when you hook up to one of those bigger units, <laughs> you'll know what I'm talking about. But I will make a future video on chasing those big 80, 90 centimeter plus size kingfish out of Sydney, okay? So thanks for joining and thanks for watching, et cetera, et cetera. See you later, I've gotta go, I've gotta go to work, I'm running late, see you.